I was thinking about the current support systems that are in place for guys and how some of them are flawed and what guys certainly do need if they haven't got a support system in place. So let, let's start with the idea that you've got a guy who just doesn't have a support system. He doesn't have people lifting him up and motivating him. And he's probably someone who is trapped with his own thoughts. He doesn't have an external voice or point of view challenging the beliefs that he's got. And so this internal dialogue constantly speaks to him and tells him, that maybe he's not good enough or that maybe he's a failure or why try doing something if it's not going to go well or maybe he's someone who's not got that motivation or someone to push him to to at least try to do stuff and maybe you know someone that is going through this or maybe it's someone such as yourself but it, it can be a very challenging routine or habit to break out of if you just haven't got any support in place. So what can you do about this? Because if you're just relying on your own thoughts and especially if they're just filled with negativity, then it can be very daunting just to try new things, to put yourself out there into the world and, and hope that things are gonna be different. So. Firstly, let's explore the idea of your social circle. Have you got a good enough social circle in place? So I'm going to be doing a video or maybe at the point of you watching this, you're going to see a video called being a product of your own environment. And we are essentially a byproduct of also the people that we that we surround ourselves with and i know there's plenty of different like metaphors and whatnot or quotes that also express this but the people that we do surround ourselves with can shape the personality and behaviors that we have so if you're around people who are constantly putting you down telling you that you're not good enough or maybe they bully you then that can essentially influence your behaviors and personality to believe that yeah you aren't good enough and that you aren't going to amount to anything so to change this Unfortunately, you probably either need to lose that social circle of friends, maybe even family as well. I have certainly met guys over the years who have struggled with their confidence because they are just around like family and friends who just put them down and uh, tell them that they're just not great people um, and uh, make them feel worthless and just make them feel like that they don't stand a chance at anything in life. Um, and there's a quote actually come to think of it from Einstein that's something like, um, you know, if, uh, if a, a fish, uh, if you tell a fish that he can't climb a tree, then he'll always believe that that he's stupid or it's something like that. I'm probably butchering the quote, but when you've got people who aren't giving you the right support that you need, essentially it really is the equivalent of you calling yourself stupid or putting yourself down or psyching yourself out of at least trying. So to swap this, you really do have to change your environment. You need to leave the people that you are surrounding yourself with and you need to go and find a new social circle of friends. And even with like dating, I've known men who have been in unhappy relationships and they know that they need to leave them, but they don't do it because they feel like that if they leave that relationship, they're not going to find anything else and they don't want to be alone again. So they would rather put up with terrible behavior in a relationship than find someone new who is going to make them feel great and uh, lift them again. So point number one, 
with your social circle, you need to change that support system. If it's friends and family who aren't giving you the needs that you deserve, then you need to be looking elsewhere. There are plenty of like social events and groups that you can join if you wanna explore the hobbies and interests kind of route, whether it be maybe meeting people through gym or again, maybe you've got some hobbies and interests that you wanna take up, even they can be a great opportunity to meet people too. But sometimes for a lot of people, that can be quite a big step to just go out and socialize and be like, yep, all right, I will forget the past relationships, friends, family, girlfriends that I've got, and I will just move on. It's easier said than done. There are people who certainly suffer from a lot of social anxiety or anxieties of sorts in general, and that can be very difficult to do so. So another option for creating a good and healthy support system for yourself is by seeking a coach, someone who either specializes in the area that you are struggling with or someone who is willing to listen to your problems and just give you a third person perspective and get you to really challenge those beliefs. Because again, if you are just relying on your own thoughts to tell you what is right and what is wrong, I would probably say that like 99% of the time, we aren't always correct when it comes to certain limiting beliefs and we don't then want to challenge those beliefs because we are scared of being hurt. We're scared to put ourselves in a very vulnerable place and we don't want to embarrass ourselves because of that either. But by having a coach or a therapist to guide you and challenge those beliefs, especially in a healthy environment or maybe in an environment where you can just dip your toe in uh, in just outside of your comfort zone, then even that can be enough to move you into a more positive direction. So this is why, like, I love um, I love it when guys go to dating coaches or therapists of sorts to work on their confidence or work on the issues that they're struggling with because at least they are with people who have either done it before or dealt with those particular behaviors or experiences, and they can guide them through this hurdle until they're in a place where they now have new knowledge on how to handle those experiences, as well as they can also remove whatever limiting beliefs that they had as well. So by then having even a support system of like a coach or therapist, then they can hold your hand and walk you forward through that journey. And they'll teach you then all of the things that you need so that then you can learn to be your own best friend. Now I've got a video on this and certainly if you haven't watched that already, absolutely watch it. In fact, I will uh, put a card uh, at this moment now for you to go and check it out if you decide to do so. But you can then learn how to then be your own support system. And I, as much as I know, I'm probably mentioning this word several times now, but you can then uh, support yourself in a healthy manner. And whether then you have a good support system around you, such as friends and family, or maybe you can be trained to be your own best friend and be your best support system because no one knows you better than you do, then at least with those two things, whether it be one, the other, or both, then absolutely that can prevent or reduce any anxieties you've got, and more importantly, that can reduce any chances of it leading to things like depression or suicide. And I have sadly known people in the past 
um, who have taken their lives because they just didn't have a support system in place that could help them through those troubling times. And the last thing I want to hear is of anyone self-harming or getting addicted to things that they shouldn't do because they are looking for alternative ways to deal with the traumas that they've got. So if you are struggling with your anxiety, if you don't have a support system in place, maybe it's for yourself or maybe someone else then I would love though for you to get in contact with me, um, if not for coaching, but just so I can at least give you some guidance and push you in the right direction for what life changes maybe you do need to make to prevent you from really suffering on the inside. Because I think if anything with what like the lockdown showed when so many people were in isolation, there were certainly people who had the opportunity of still reaching out to like friends and family. And there were others whose entire social life were completely destroyed and they really struggled to build that confidence again. And many, I, I do actually know, are still trapped um, in that isolation because they just haven't been able to get that routine back that they had before. But does that mean then that they should be suffering in silence? Absolutely not. They need a support system. They either need to be putting themselves out there and making friends. And if they can't do that, then they need a coach or a therapist that can push them into that circumstance so they aren't suffering alone. Everyone needs help. Um, and you just can't rely or trust yourself to fix those problems. And there's nothing wrong as well with admitting that level of defeat. So if you do need help, I'd love to hear from you. Or if you know someone who needs some support, by all means, do send them my way. Otherwise, if you can, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. And I would also love to hear in the comments below what kind of support system you have in place. Do you have a lot of friends that can help you or family? Or are you currently working with a coach or therapist to deal with the issues that maybe you're struggling with as well? And if you don't, I'd be very curious to hear why aren't you seeking the support that can help you through the struggles that you're dealing with? So until then, thank you very much for watching and continue to watch more of my videos.